I'm here with Kevin Kuat from Go Engineer, and he's going to tell us about his 3D printers. All right. So Go Engineer is actually a reseller for SolidWorks and 3D printer software. So what we brought to the show today is actually a couple of our Stratasys printers here. Uh, what we have open here is actually the Mojo 3 d printer. It's our entry printer to the market for uh, consumers. You can lease these things for 185 a month, which is pretty nice. Um, and then over here we have our Fortis printer and then our U-Print. Now, for some of you Game of Thrones fans, we actually have a Winterfell being printed on that printer right now. So you can actually come see, uh, see how the whole process works. Basically what's going on here is the printer is going to print the material layer by layer over and over thousands of times to eventually build your model from the bottom up. The white stuff that you're seeing there is the support material and what it'll basically do is uh, you can print really complex parts when everything's done printing that just melts away and what you're left is something finished like this. So the, uh, the material that's printed in between is that to eliminate flashing or is that the support material in between is so that way it can do uh, more complex parts, like something like this. If you were to print these in some of the other machines on the market, they're not able to put those supports inside the middle part just because the support material is proprietary to Stratasys. So as a result, you couldn't do something like this off of the cheaper uh, consumer printers. This is something that can be done only on professional grades. But because these things are so cheap and affordable now, pretty much anybody who wants to design or create something can do it. So it's pretty cool. So what is it that, I mean, I've seen a lot of, you know, maker type people with their own 3D printer machines. Obviously, this is a lot more technical and nicer looking, but what, what are the main differences you'd say between those? You mentioned that material. What else, what else would you say differentiates the two? Well, MakerBot actually got bought by Stratasys, and those machines are awesome, and it's a great way for people who are hobbyists to get introduced to the market. But, again, you're not able to do some more complex parts like this, uh, tie bomber right here. Also, with all these machines, you'll notice that they're covered, and what that is is a heated build chamber. So normal plastic, when it gets uh, heated up and it cools down, it'll start curling. But the heated build chamber, it keeps everything cool down at the exact same rate, so you don't have any deformities going on. Everything prints really, really evenly. And honestly, I mean, 185 a month for something even like this, that's cheaper than car payments. And I mean, designers, even you know, what small businesses are using these to do like concept models. I mean, you can even do engine parts, you know, stuff like that. That's pretty cool. So, what about like printing metal? Is it? Do you have a machine that does that, or is that? What, what's that technology uh, doing right now? So with metal printing, Stratasys doesn't do it. But metal printing is being developed by a lot of other companies as well. As of right now, the technology is at its, I'd like to say, bleeding edge, where it's extremely powerful, but is, is, it is very, very expensive. And the process is a little bit more consuming. But something like these machines, you literally take it out, out of the box, you plug everything in, plug in your, install, uh, install your software and everything into your computer. The whole process takes maybe about 15 minutes and you literally just print and you're ready to go. It's almost like a desktop printer. So with uh, some of the bigger printers like the metal printing, you're gonna have to have an oven, you're gonna need a gigantic machine and it, all this post processing, it takes a lot of time. This is as easy as printing it, putting it into solution to melt it off, washing it and you're done. Great, well thank you.